Welcome back everyone. So I want to just spend a little time explaining what the goal actually is with um, a database and a browser. Why do we, what, what is the goal of all the lessons I'm doing here? Um, so first of all, I'm doing it in different languages like C Sharp, like uh, JavaScript. Um, we're using a few different languages. I could also use PHP if I wanted to. I could use um, some Java if I wanted to. So why, what am I actually, what I'm, am I trying to teach you guys? What are we trying to achieve? The real goal is actually very simple. It's getting information into a browser and giving the users the possibility of handling that information and maybe passing some requests back to actually ask for more information or change information inside a database. That's the goal of it. So what do we need? We need some kind of framework set in here in the middle where we can actually go in and convert some kind of data from here in the, in the database into something that the user can actually be presented with and maybe manipulate all the way inside a browser. The way the user works with a browser, the only thing a browser can present is actually JavaScript, HTML and CSS. And those three things, are the JavaScript is pretty much to make it dynamic, like things can move around and blink and whatever. The HTML is like the structure, we place stuff inside the right tags to make it look shiny, we kind of make the structure of the site. And this is to make it pretty, so it will shine more and look better. And, and they even have some animations in here now as well. So we're trying to take data from a database and present it inside the browser. And that doesn't matter what you're using as back end, front end, whatever you're using. That's the goal of the things, right? Is to get stuff from here to here and get information back from here to here. That's the goal of pretty much every system out there, right? So how do we do that? Well, it doesn't matter what system we're using. I'm going to show you with a C Sharp presentation here, but I'm going to also explain the different areas where we could use other uh, pieces of tools to do the same thing. What we're going to build in the, in the next lessons is probably going to be some kind of uh, two-tiered application here. And um, it's going to have tier one here, it's going to have tier one, it's going to have some kind of REST API. Maybe we'll build it inside C Sharp, maybe we'll build it inside uh, JavaScript. That depends on what we are going to make here. But we're going to have some kind of REST API in the top here. There we go. So it's going to have some kind of way for us to communicate with the outside world, right? So the outside world right now will re be represented with this cloud thing. And the cloud thing, let's just clean it up a bit. Let's get that out of the way. And then let's put in some www here. Do, do, do. There we go, that's the web, right? So we need to somehow be able to represent whatever the data is in here using a REST API. That's the goal of everything. And the way we're going to communicate back and forth is going to be using something called HTTP requests and responses like this. So we're going to send some HTTP requests and response back and that's going to store some of this information in here. Now, not only that, we're going to also add some kind of layer, a second layer in here that can communicate with the database. So that's going to be some kind of data access layer data uh, logic layer, data access layer, whatever you want to call it. Some call it data logic layer, some call it data access layer. We're going to somehow be able to communicate with the database, right? And if we're using a Mongo database, for instance, we're probably going to use something called Mongoose, where if you're using um, uh, MS SQL database, we're probably going to use something called the Entity Framework. Already looked at that in some videos. Um, <clears throat> but again, it's just it's pretty much just a way for us to communicate between this layer and the database, right? Now, if we go up here, we might use something called um, some kind of REST API. Maybe it's Web API if it's C Sharp. That's the C Sharp way of doing it. But if it's uh, instead, if it was, um, we're probably going to use Express if we want to use like a Node.js server. So it's going to be JavaScript, then it's probably Node, or sorry, Express on Node server, right? So it, it all depends, but it's still the same idea. We're going to grab some data using this layer, pull it back, convert it into something, send it over the wire. Where are we going to send it? Well, that's the next step. So we're going to have kind of a middle line right here where we kind of decide how do we want to actually retrieve the data on the other side? Do we want to show it in a browser like I showed here? Do we want to add it inside a phone app instead? Could be anything. This could be in a phone app. Maybe here we would have to convert it into some kind of, um, I don't know, what do we need here? We need some Android maybe. It could be an Android phone, so then it would be Java. Uh, we would have to work with uh, so some Java code really doesn't matter up here would be HTML CSS Maybe it wouldn't be that maybe we wanted something else here. Maybe we wanted uh, to make it into I Don't know. I don't know man. There's so many tools to pick from now um, Maybe we want some iOS here. Okay, it could be that as well 
I don't know, you can do anything here. It can be any kind of tool we want in here. Um, so how do we handle this? How do we convert things into the actual tools that we want? So let's say this was, a, we're actually going for the browser solution. So we're going to make some kind of a tier two here. And this time the tier two is going to be um, a C sharp solution in our case. Then we're probably going, if we want the browser part, it's going to be some MVC here in the top. So we're going to make some MVC. Boop, boop, boop. And maybe we're going to make some uh, kind of proxy setup here. Uh, I don't know the name yet, we'll figure it out, but we want some kind of way to take data from this guy and convert it into something that MVC can read. And then that guy will actually convert it into JS, HTML, and CSS, right? So now it's an MVC solution, right? That's just a choice. What if we wanted to do it in JavaScript? Well, maybe we would make something else. Maybe we'd make an Angular solution up here, AngularJS. Maybe we would make uh, Aurelia the solution up here. I don't know, it's up to us, we decide, but we have to pick how we want to convert the data somehow into something the browser can read again. Maybe the proxy pattern will be written in C sharp, maybe the proxy pattern will be written in Java. Uh, again, it's really up to you. There's nobody deciding except you. What, do we, what language do you like to write? I'm going to show you a few ideas here. I'm going to give you some, some goals. But with this, now I can actually draw the lines. I can say somehow we want things to be presented in the browser. So we're going to make some kind of call to a backend here. Give me some information. Okay, I'll send it through the proxy. I'll go and grab it on the wire. I'll send it to the REST API. The REST API will grab it from the data access layer. The data access layer will communicate with the database somehow. The database will say, hey, well, here's the data you requested. Send it up here, send it over here, grab it down here, convert it into something I can read and pass it into the browser, present it to the user. The user has a few buttons. He'll say, okay, I got what I needed. Let's just send it back here, all the way down here, whoops, all the way down here, over here, over here. This is the goal. This is the goal. This is what we want to do. And he'll say, oh, great. Well, I just got some information. Let's pass it back to the user. And then that'll just keep working back and forth. Now, it all depends on what you're going to use here. So for every video that I do, I'll be somewhere in this beautiful diagram. So see you in the next lesson where we'll, I don't know what we'll do. I'll show you. See you next time.